I'm very pleased. I'm, I'm really looking forward for this day and uh, so yeah, I'm really happy. Obviously joining Danny Rill's coaching team, tell us about your relationship with Danny, how, how do you know each other? <laughs> we know each other since 2008, nine in the Red Bull time where I was in Salzburg. First he was in Leipzig, then I was the head of global youth development and then I also educate Danny in, the, in his beginnings year and uh, then since there we have always have a close contact where we always have spoken a lot about football, a lot about tactic, a lot about human, human development. So yeah, he's a very close uh, friend and a very close uh, professional partner to me. So I'm really, really looking forward to work with him and, and the rest of the staff. Mm. How pleased are you to see him get his first opportunity as a manager here as well? Obviously, you've worked together for, known each other for a long time. You must be pleased to see him get his first chance in management. It's always difficult to get the first chance, and Danny, he has so much experience now. He has grown so much as a human and also as a leader. He has seen a lot of big coaches where he had learned a lot, and he is completely ready for this job now. And that's also why I'm here to support him in the best way, because his brain is good. He's a good human, and. Uh, he can be a good leader for this club here, so I'm here to support him. Yeah. And how would you how would you say that support's going to come? How would you describe yourself as a, as a coach? Obviously, experience as a, as a manager as well yourself. Yeah, um, I'm a tactical freak like him, uh, and one thing are the tactical things, uh, but tactical tactical thing doesn't work if the human behind the player doesn't work. So for me, it's also very important how we are working with the human behind the player. So the combination of working with the personality, combination with the football, to have a clear, clear strategy for how we want to play, how we want to train, and how we want to develop the culture. And the culture for me is how we, how the, we are beside the pitch and how we perform together on the pitch. Mm. And, and looking at Sheffield Wednesday as, as a club, obviously seeing, seeing the dressing room, obviously you've only been here a short time, but how much are you looking forward to getting working with this club and this set of players as well? In the last uh, 10 hours, I have got, got so many messages and and, and one thing I clear, there's big, big respect for this club, with this culture, and also with this potential. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very excited and I'm very proud that I, I'm here right now to, to support everyone in this development. It's been a busy, busy few hours for you, hasn't it? Tell us about this, this day and obviously we've got Watford tomorrow, it's a busy couple of days for you. Yeah, we, I had my final game yesterday evening at seven uh, and then um, yeah, I travel since four o'clock in the morning, but it's not a problem. Uh, and then, yeah, then we go to Watford today, and I'm very, very exciting for the game tomorrow to support the players, to support the staff, to support Danny. How much are you looking forward to that? Straight into it with the with the first game. It's it's what you want, isn't it, to get going and and start picking points up as well? Yeah, I'm. I have lot, made so much analysis of Sheffield, and uh, every evening. Uh, Danny and I, we spoke about training, game plan, players. Uh, I have used so much time and now I'm really looking forward to get that out in practice and uh, on the training ground. I couldn't reach it today, but we go di direct into a game tomorrow and of course I'm looking forward. That's, that's why I'm here.